You wouldn't know it from the outside, but tucked behind a bookstore on busy Bancroft Way in Berkeley is something very special. Hello, everybody who is here for Cafe Aloni. We are just about to get started. Cafe Aloni gives people a taste of the East Bay. By that we mean the original East Bay, home of the Muwekama Ohlone tribe. We're grateful to be able to share these foods with you all, to teach you all about who we are as Ohlone people. Cafe Ohlone offers just a couple of meals a week and the menu changes frequently. Dishes are only made from ingredients that are native to the East Bay. Hazelnuts, acorn, venison, salmon, these greens like the watercress that's coming up, our chia seed, many people are surprised of that. <laughs> our food just by itself. It's inherently bougie because our traditional diet, it's so rich, it's so gourmet, it's so delicious. The pop-up restaurant opened back in 2017 as part of a larger effort to preserve the Ohlone culture. Diners call it a delicious learning experience. I'm originally from California and I don't really know a lot about the indigenous groups that were here. And so just to have an opportunity to learn directly from these groups and to consume food that's different and something that I've never had before was really exciting for me. It reminds me of my ancestors too, like um, it really touched me and what it really touched me too is the food. It's so delicious, really good. The experience and the food keeps the place packed. Ten years ago it would have been hard to think of, of so many people gathered over Ohlone foods, but this is also reflective of the changing times and also reflective of how much work has been put in to keep these ways strong. In Berkeley. It's so good. Candace Wen, KTVU, Fox 2 News.